Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. Let me help you how to find the area of a sector of a circle. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, so what is a sector of a circle? Okay, a sector of a circle is the region bounded by the two radii. So, nasan yung two radii? Here, one radius, this is the first radius, this is the second radius, okay? So, this is the region bounded by the um, two radii and their intercepted arc. Where is that? Here. Okay, so we are pertaining to this region this shaded region this is what you call the um sector a b c okay and in this video we're going to find the area of this shaded region or we're going to find the area of the sector of this circle so to get the area of this sector I'm not just going to give you the formula. I'm going to teach you how to derive the formula. Kung saan nang galing yung formula. Kapag alam nyo kung saan siya nang galing, kung saan nang galing yung formula, mas madali nyo siyang mare-recall whenever you need that formula. Okay? Okay. So, I need to define some symbols first before we derive the area of a sector of a circle. Okay? So, let's have R. Okay? That's the usual naman for the radius. Okay? So, this is our R. Or, pwede rin ito. Okay? It's the radius of the circle. Theta. Okay? I'm going to use theta. But in your module, they use a small letter C. A lowercase letter C. Okay? It doesn't matter. Okay? As long as alam nyo kung ano yung theta dito sa video at alam nyo yung C sa module ninyo. Okay? The reason why I use theta because ito talaga yung ginagamit. Okay? Ito yung usual na ginagamit. So, I will use theta to denote the measure of the central angle. Okay? In degrees. Okay? So, here. Okay? The measure of this Central angle is theta. Okay? So, since this measures theta and it is a central angle, the measure of this arc AC is also theta. Right? And lastly, this symbol. Do you know this symbol? This is the number pi okay this is a real number an irrational number it is non repeating and non terminating decimal okay we approximate pi to be equal to 3.14 okay so ito yung gagamitin yung value for pi okay kasi nga non terminating siya non repeating so mahabang mahaba to para makapagcompute tayo ng area of a sector of a circle, we will use this value. Okay? 3.14. Okay? So, now, we derive the formula for the area of a sector. Okay. So, to derive, we're going to use ratio and proportion. Okay? Okay. So, let's consider first this circle. Okay? This circle... Okay, has radius R also. Okay? So, R. Ito yung radius niya. Okay? Now, I have a question. What is the area of this entire circle? Okay? With radius R. Sige nga, what is the area of this whole circle? Diba? All you have to do is to recall the formula in getting the area of a circle. And that is pi r squared. Diba? That's the formula to get the area of the circle, of any circle with radius r. Okay? 
over, okay, over the measure of this arc, okay? So, we all know that a complete circle measures what? 360 degrees. So, we write 360 degrees here, okay? So, again, ano yung nasa taas? Ang nasa taas, area of the shaded portion. So, lahat yan naka-shade. So, the area of this circle is pi r squared. Over, this is the measure of the arc. Okay? So, ito yun. 360 degrees. Okay. Equals, so we're using ratio and proportion. We're going to uh, go back to our first figure, the sector ABC. Okay? Here. Okay, so first, in the numerator, remember, we get the area of the shaded portion. So here, we want to get also the area of this shaded portion. Pero hindi nga natin alam, di ba? Kasi nga, yan nga yung hinahanap natin. So, maybe we can let that be a capital letter S. Okay, so, going back to our equation, so I'm going to put, a capital letter S. So, again, this signifies the area of the shaded portion here. Ito. Okay? Over, ano nga ulit yung nilalagay natin sa denominator? The measure of the arc. Anong measure ng arc na ito? Theta. Okay? So, I'm going to write theta here. Remember, Theta is in degrees. Alright? And then that's it. From this ratio and proportion, you can easily get, or you can easily compute for S, which is the area of the sector. Okay? Ayun lang ho, imumultiply mo lang ito dito. Okay? And you will get pi r squared theta divided by 360 degrees. At ito na ang area ng sector of a circle. Okay? So, mas maganda kung alam mo kung saan nanggaling yung formula kesa basta nyo nalang minemorize. Alright? Okay. So, let's apply this formula to an example. So, this is a very basic example why? Because all you have to do is, you know, directly substitute all the given to the formula. Okay? So, here, we're asked to find the area of the given sector. So, all you have to do is to recall the formula in getting the area of a sector. So, di ba kanina na-derive natin? Um, what do you like? Do you want me to use A for area? Okay, na siguro, no? So, the area of the sector, or oh, let me write here. Okay? The area of the sector, what is the formula? Pi r squared theta divided by 360 degrees. Right? So, ganun lang. All you have to do is to look for the value of r, which is 9 inches. This is the radius. Okay? And what is the value of theta? The central angle. 120 degrees. Diba? And what is the value of pi? We're going to replace pi by 3.14. So, by substitution, it looks like this. So, I'm going to replace pi by 3.14. Okay? And then, I'm going to replace r by 9. Okay, don't forget you have to square it. So, 9 squared and then times the measure of the central angle which is 120 degrees. Alright? Divided by 360 degrees. Okay? So, actually, magka-cancel yung mga degrees dito. Okay? Mawawala yan. Okay? And then, I think you're allowed to use a calculator. Okay, so let's use a calculator this time. Okay, so let's have 3.14 times 
times um, 9 squared okay, times 120. And then divided by 360. And the answer is 84.78. So we get 84.78. 84 what is the unit? Okay. Kapag area. Okay. Titingnan nyo lang yung unit ng radius. Okay. It's inches. Okay. So this is how you write the unit after getting the area. Either you write inches squared like that or you write square inches. So this is the final answer. 84.78 inches squared. Okay, so let me write. Inches squared. Okay, ganyan siya binabasa. Or, pwede nyo rin siyang isulat as 84.78 square inches. Okay? Ganito siya sinusulat kapag square inches. You may SQ period and then IN period. Okay? Ang inch squared, ganito naman siya sinusulat. IN tapos may squared. So, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.